My usual work week starts on a Monday morning. And then I work basically from morning till late night until Thursday. And then I work a little bit on the Friday before I take my beautiful wife and my daughter to the Swedish archipelago where we have a house. And imagine we have some guests with us and I want to impress them with a nice recipe that goes really fast to cook. So this is the recipe exactly for that. Today I'm gonna cook lamb chops or lamb racks. This is an entire rack, uh, basically the back of the lamb. So you have the ribeye here uh, on this side and then you have the sirloin of the lamb on that side. So I'm gonna cut them individually and grill them really hard. You know that lamb is best pink, not medium rare. So medium-ish. And then I'm gonna make a gremolata to sprinkle on top of that. And my gremolata today is made out of rosemary, thyme and parsley, which goes really well with the lamb. Inside you're also gonna find some garlic and some um, lemon zest and some olive oil, just to sprinkle on top of the, of the lamb. With the lamb, I'm gonna do a really fast and beautiful crispy salad, uh, really thinly sliced. So you basically take uh, the vegetables and uh, put them through a mandolin straight down into the bowl that you're going to put on the table. In my salad today, I've chosen red onion, bell peppers, red chili pepper, cherry tomatoes, cucumber, celery, and then a lot of herbs. Mint goes really well with the lamb. So a lot of mint cilantro and basil. And then I'm gonna crush down feta cheese into the bowl and uh, some uh, olives and then just a little bit of lemon juice and olive oil. The thing with my salad is that you toss it just before you serve it. So we start with lamb. Lamb racks, like I told you before, we're gonna cut them individually. So uh, always sharpen your knife when you have time. Uh, maybe it's gonna be one bone too much. Just toss the bone away or keep it for a juice or a stock or something. Just push them a little with a with a knife. You see how fatty and beautiful they are. Super lamb. I think in Sweden we have a great lamb. I love lamb meat. Here you see we have uh, a portion of two, but one uh, bone in the middle. So I'm gonna take away the. The, the one in the middle. Yes, and now that one is almost prepared for, for the grill. I'm just gonna marinate them a little bit in olive oil. Sprinkle a little bit, turn them around. Mm. Straight into the fridge. Now we're gonna start with the gremolata. Then we take the parsley and some thyme and some rosemary. You don't need that much rosemary and thyme because those herbs are very high in taste. So just a little bit. If you make this recipe, you're gonna get friends for life, I can tell you. And. Um, what goes well uh, wine-wise with uh, this dish. I would say uh, classic is to go uh, uh, into Rhone, like a Chateau Neuf de Pape or 
a crosshair mit dash or something like that. Or if it's very warm outside, it could be fine with a like a, a glass of rosé or a couple of bottles. And then the parsley. So you want this quite finely chopped because uh, uh, big pieces of rosemary and thyme is, uh, is uh, not so nice to have in your mouth. Chop, 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 chop. I think this is it. This is fine. Perfect. Put them in a little bowl. Now we're going to chop some um, garlic and put in some lemon zest inside. Two cloves is fine. Just peel it normally. These are fresh ones. They're beautiful. When the uh, garlic is fresh, you, you can uh, use a little more. They are not so heavy and garlicish. <laughs> It's gonna be nice. Oh la la. Perfection. Garlic inside and some lemon. You should just take some lemon zest inside, basically from one entire lemon. And then we're gonna use this lemon for the salad after. Perfection. And then olive oil. Buy something nice. I mean, olive oil. You can spend a little bit when you're gonna serve it raw in a salad or stuff like that. You're gonna cook, doesn't matter. That's so nice. I'm gonna give that taste, that extra taste to the lamb chops that you're looking for, a little bit, bit more. I wanted a little bit more like the liquid, not like a pesto. Hola. Yes. Have you seen this uh, ceramics? It's my favorite designer in Sweden. Her name is uh, Birgitta Watts. I would say one of the best uh, we have in Sweden. It gives my food the right feeling that I'm looking for. So let's talk, start with the celery. I think we're gonna need maybe three. Take a little bit of And then you need this one a little thicker. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Then we continue with it with the bell pepper. Grumpy one, bye bye. Be careful with your hands. <laughs> then uh, the fennel. Fennel is uh, something you like or you dislike. It's like uh, cilantro. I remember my, my mom gave me this when I was young and I hated it until I was 15, 16. I started to, to, to like it and now I cannot live without it. Then you want it, this a little bit thinner. You want it thinly sliced. And then the cucumber. These are really nice small cucumbers. They call it snack cucumber. Really crispy and such a big flavor of, uh, of cucumber. They are so nice. Take one more. We are expecting many people here today. It's gonna be so delicious. This one we can shop as well. And don't mind about the seeds in this one. Um, really finely shop. Seeds are nice from the little chili fruits. Then we're done with the mandolin. And then we continue with the um, cherry tomatoes. Just in quarters, I would say it's fine. Doesn't matter so much. And I saw something, typical me. We can, we can have the red onion in the mandolin as well. Just take away the skin. Mm. 
We continue with the olives. You cut behind the core all the time, so you don't get the core inside. Four left. Wow. We're soon there now. Voila. The last olive. Then, herbs. A lot of herbs. So mint is um, also classic with um, with lamb. And I want to have uh, a lot of cilantro as well. So when, when you shop uh, uh, cilantro, you shop the uh, stalks very finely, so you can use everything in, in the cilantro. Uh, shop them very fine. Voila. Last of the herbs is, is basil. You can basically use everything here as well, the stalks and everything. Just the last end of the stalks, throw them away. Finely chopped, as I did with the cilantro, and then roughly chopped. Now it's time for feta cheese. You just uh, crush it on top of the salad. This is also gonna give the saltiness, so be careful when you salt the salad. It also has some olives inside, which is also salty, so be careful. You can prepare this salad like one hour in advance, but don't toss it around. Uh, wait until the lamb chops are grilled. Now it's time to grill those lamb chops. Oh, finally in my right element next to my grill. We're gonna grill some lamb chops. They are marinated in olive oil, so I'm just gonna put some salt on it. This is a Kamado. So uh, now I have around 300 degrees Celsius. That's a very, very high temperature. Uh, down here, uh, we have a damper. A damper up here. And so it's, if it's fully open, then it's, we can reach probably 500 degrees. I have prepared two levels. The lower level is really to give it color. The higher level is if it's it's not going to burn away because you want it pink. So we put some salt on it. Voila. Your digital thermometer always next to you. Let's go. We put them on the grill. And the fine thing with the Kamado is that you can close the lid. And why you make that? Is to make the smoke intense in the meat. It's burning a little now. It can burn a little, no problem. I'm gonna put them on the higher level directly, I think. It's very hot today. Fire. That's beautiful, right? I love fire. I love it. It's so much fat inside this beautiful lamb, so that's why it's firing up a little. It's perfect. Around 45, 50. Let's eat. Well, the lamb chops are ready. So let's put them on the big, beautiful. Have you seen this platter? It's amazing. Like toss them all over. And then the gremolata on the top. I usually put a little bit on each one like that. And like sprinkle a little bit all over. I forgot that. <laughs> and then some um, 
mold on salt. Lamb is quite fatty. More fat, more salt. Some pepper. Put that on the table. Salad. When you squeeze a lemon, squeeze it gently before, like that. So the fibers are more liquid. Put it through a sieve. Some beautiful olive oil. A little bit of salt, a little bit. Olives are salty. Feta cheese is also salty, so be careful. This is really something you do a la minute. You don't need so much lemon also because the feta cheese is also has some acid to it. Yes, start tossing, tossing like Yuri Skog, you know? Toss, 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 toss. Have you seen the salad? Doesn't it look great? You need to toss a little because you need to make everything like mixed together. Such a delicious salad. Well, ready to serve. So this is my perfect, quick dinner, impressive kind of cooking. Please enjoy.